What are accommodative spasms? Accommodative spasms are incredibly common because it's essentially a spasm of the muscle that we use to see clearly up close. Now, the first thing that I want to dive into is letting you know that your eye is really just like a camera. When you look out into distance, you need to focus the lens the same way you would focus a camera lens differently if you were taking a photo of a football player a long ways away versus a flower up close. If you took a photo of a football player a long ways away, you would adjust the lenses on your camera to bring the light from that football player into focus on the retina. If you were to then take that lens in optical setting and apply it to a flower, the image would be blurred. So you would need to adjust the lenses and make that image clear. Your eyes, as I tell all my patients, are mindless little jelly balls. They are uh, just essentially cameras collecting data. And of course they have some really cool and amazing tissue, but for the sake of data collection, that's all they are. So when we look out into distance, our eyes aren't long like a camera uh, with multiple lenses. They have one lens that is really, really amazing. They have a lens inside of, their, inside of our eye called the intraocular lens, and it's flexible. This lens is held in place by little li ligaments, and then it is controlled by this muscle called the ciliary body muscle. Now, the ciliary body muscle is a round circular muscle, and this is, of course, a cross section. So I want you, if you can, imagine that this muscle is wrapping around the lens. When we look at something far away, this muscle is going to relax and this lens is going to become thin like a window pane. It's going to essentially become less power. When we then look at something up close, it's blurry for a moment and we learn, hopefully we learn because we don't know how to do this when we were born. So this is a learned skill of muscle control. We learn that we have to flex this muscle the lens then becomes thicker, like a magnifying glass, and actually increases in plus power. And that brings the light from that near object, like a book, maybe a toy when you're a kid, it brings it into focus on the retina. Flexing this muscle makes the lens thicker. Relaxing this muscle makes the lens thinner. Obviously, we're going to have a problem if we look out at the board and we flex this muscle and make the wrong muscle movement or muscle instruction. If you were to flex this muscle while looking at the board and make this lens thicker, like a magnifying glass, the board is going to be blurry. If you're playing baseball and you stress while you're in the batter's box and you get anxious and you cramp this muscle, it doesn't matter if you have 2020 or 2015 vision in both eyes, that player, that picture is going to be blurry. And there's no glasses, contact lenses, or LASIK vision that can correct that. Because again, this is a muscle control problem. So an accommodative spasm is when that happens. If you are looking at something at distance and you don't fully relax this muscle to the appropriate point, you are essentially sending an incorrect neurological signal to this muscle and you could be considered spasming it or cramping it. If you were to even look up close, you were to look at a book, but you still sent too strong of a muscle, of a signal to that muscle and you focus your lens here instead of here at the book, the book is going to be blurred. So you're going to be considered as having a spasm. Accommodative spasms are very common right now because your brain is going to do and put on repeat of whatever keeps you from getting eaten by the lions. The majority of our world is up close. And even worse, the majority of it is on illuminated screens like computers, cell phones, iPads, and so forth. The more time that we spend on these near illuminated screens, the higher the risk is of us having accommodative spasms. And I know that I see in my practice that these spasms are really becoming more and more frequent in um, patients, honestly, of all ages. Obviously, when we're younger, this lens is more flexible, so it could be considered easier to have a spasm of those muscles, but I see patients, even in their 60s, 70s, who are somewhat spasming this muscle. So accommodative spasm, again, is a muscle coordination problem.
It's not a lens necessarily problem. The lens is affected by our neurological signaling to this muscle. It's something that I've seen um, really cause incorrect prescriptions to be found and really um, challenging times seeing through glasses. I have a lot of patients who come in here and their optometrist nailed the prescription. It's absolutely perfect, but the patient is complaining about blurred vision at distance occasionally. That's not a problem with the glasses. The glasses are perfect. But if you look at distance and you cramp this muscle, things are gonna get blurry. I definitely recommend anyone who's struggling in batting or who feels like they're batting or even seeing a tennis ball, playing lacrosse, really any, <laughs> I guess just about any athlete who has to work with distance vision, feels like they're struggling, get checked for accommodative spasms, especially because now our U 13s and even our college players have such excessive, um, uh, I would say strain put on them by their work at school being put onto laptops and computers. Um, but that's an accommodative spasm. It's when you send too strong of a signal to these muscles, you make this lens accommodate and become thicker like a reading lens and you do it at an inappropriate time. Meaning when you're supposed to be looking far away or even if you look up close and you just do it excessively. So that's an accommodative spasm. The big challenge with accommodative spasms is that they can then cause further problems down the line with alignment. And that is another video.